What's shaking, everybody? John Ramdeen with you here in the FN studios, and this is Fight News Now Extra, your daily dose of mixed martial arts dirt. Robin Black and I will discuss some of the MMA's biggest stories, including a thrilling bout at featherweight that could deliver a number one contender. Also making news today, the Metamorphs 4 event will keep its main event intact, and the axe murderer calls out a living legend. Those are our stories for today. Now we'll get the particulars. MMA Fighting is reporting that the UFC is trying to put together a match featuring former lightweight champion Frankie Edgar and the surging Cub Swanson. The bout could take place as early as October, but might happen as late as December. Swanson is riding a stellar six-fight winning streak, which includes triumphs over Charles Oliveira, Dustin Poirier, and Jeremy Stevens, while Edgar stunned fans in his last outing, dismantling two-division champion BJ Penn, sending the Hawaiian into retirement. It seems that the NSAC does not scare the Gracies or Chael Sonnen, as it appears that the former WEC middleweight title challenger will indeed compete in the main event of Metamorphs 4. Sonnen is no stranger to grappling events. In addition to wrestling competitions, the former Gladiator Challenge champion tested the waters in ADCC competition. The 37-year-old is scheduled to face off against one of the most dominant BJJ artists in the world in Andre Galvao. Former Pride middleweight champion Vanderlei Silva is ready for another match, and he has his sights set on one of the greatest Americans to ever compete in the sport. Silva, who is one fight shy of 50, would love to lock horns with the man who took his Pride title away in Dan Henderson. The belt would mark the third meeting of the two, and the Brazilian would love to have the Pride title on the line. Henderson responded over Twitter, stating, I'm good with it. Now joined by Mr. Robin Black and a bunch of good matchups that the UFC is trying to put together. We're going to start at 145 pounds. Frankie Edgar, Cub Swanson. If I'm Cub Swanson, it's like, what the hell are you talking about? I just won six fights, all in impressive form. Now you're going to make me fight Frankie Edgar to get another crack at Jose Aldo. Screw you guys. I, I've already done enough. Yeah, fighters fight though, and they come to you and they say, well, actually, he's injured. It could be a year. You know how these things go. This fight's here. Maybe they're going to cut him in a piece of the pay-per-view. Who knows? Because you can stand around and go, seriously, man, I beat everybody. Frankie wasn't even kicking around. But this is the fight. And man. And this the, but this is, is the so assignment good. you have. You have Frankie yeah. Edgar. You know, I mean, we're talking about one of the best you know, of the modern era, maybe of all time. This is the guy that beat BJ Penn a bunch of times, yeah. stopped him in his last fight. I mean, Frankie Edgar is on a different level. He pushes a pace that very few people can hand. He's so skilled. He's so driven. And the fact that this guy, Frankie Edgar, would be standing in the way of a title shot of Cub Swanson, it's, it, it's got, you got to feel for Cub Swanson. I do, man. This is my guy. I've been excitedly saying this guy will be fighting for the title back when he was knocking out George Roop. This is the guy you look at and go, he has all the skills. He's a young veteran. He has built everything up. He's passionate about fighting. He, he puts on a beauty when he fights. He's not just one of these guys either finding a way to win or you know finding the easiest path of resistance. He's an artist. And those guys, you've got to watch him fight. And he's going to get there anyways. This fight between these two greats is one of the fights I am most excited about of almost any fight I can think of off the top of my head, at least for anticipation of the greatness of the, of the matchup and the skills of the guys involved. Top 10 of, of anticip excited anticipation for me personally ever in my life. Well, you look at this matchup because this is where we are in mixed martial arts today. You look at Dustin Poirier, or you look at Cub Swanson, even Dustin Poirier, and Frankie Edgar, they're highly evolved guys. Right now, these are the top levels of mixed martial arts co competitors in the game right now. You know, people say, oh, there's guys that are better than both of these guys. I'm sure there are, but when you look at their skill set, there are very few weaknesses from both guys. And then you switch over to Vanderlei Silva and Dan Henderson, some old school guys, and I like that type yeah. of matchmaking because yeah. people still get excited about Dan Henderson. I think they still get excited about Vanderlei Silva, but do we want to see Dan Henderson face off against another Daniel Cormier? Uh, I, I know Daniel Cormier is no spring chicken, but he doesn't have the miles that Dan Henderson yeah. has on him. And we saw what happened in their last fight. I think when it comes to legends like Vanderlei Silva and Dan Henderson, give these guys yeah. solid matchups, competitive matchups that they'll entertain the crowd and they can win this fight. 
very similar to Cub Swanson and Frankie Edgar. Both guys can win that fight, but just, just a different fight yeah. in comparison to Vanderlei yeah. Silva and Dan Henderson. Both intriguing. Though. Yeah, we need to put out of our mind whether or not Vanderlei is going to have commission issues. Just look yes. at this fight. Because, hey, this fight will. Vitor Belfort's going to be fighting, that's right? That's true. That's true. <laughs> hopefully this fight happens at some point. And it is a great fight. And it's a really cool thing. Really cool thing. Imagine if in other sports, and you're a fan of the sport, you're a fan of how the, the games unfold, and you can go, let's do Wayne Gretzky versus Gordie Howe. Yep. You can't do that in other sports. But because it's an individual sport, two guys that are in their 40s or two guys who were at the top of the game seven or eight years ago can still put on incredible mm -hmm. fights. You can take uh, you know, a, a, a leather helmet wearing quarterback from an era and you put him out there with a leather helmet wearing great receiver, you could still see an incredible thing. It's also a, a type of history lesson, a type of appreciation of how it's evolved and where they're at and the, just how great it is when two great old tough dudes fight each other. It's one of the great things about this sport. When it's great that these guys helped the sport evolve and now we're seeing guys fighting at 125 pounds and there's rumors that uh, Ian McCall will get in there with John Lineker and I love it. We look at uh, Ian McCall's last performance against Brad Pickett. I would not be surprised to see him uh, face off against Demetrius Johnson sometime down the road for, for another time because he's just so skilled. He knows how to win. He's athletic. He's mobile. Yeah. And uh, But John Lineker, kind of that new age guy. Yeah. He's young. He hits hard. We're seeing takedown defense uh, improve every time he steps inside of the cage. But a great match about 125 yeah, Very good. And this one, so we had the one that is just two of the best guys on earth. We got the one that's two of the old dudes. This one for me is about game plan. Yeah. This one for me is about strategy and the type of game that you have. McCall's last fight, and really it's been a big part of his game, he's a blitzer. He's a staying outside of range, moving and being mobile one and a half to two steps out, mm -hmm. and blitz in with combinations. That can win, but now we've kind of looked at it. We see that's what he does. If you're Lineker's camp, can you beat that? Do you know how to beat it? Do you hit him on the way in, or do you cut off the cage like we saw uh, Weidman do against Leodo? Do you find the answer? These guys are beatable, but uh, McCall is damn good at that game. Really, really good at that game. That's a great, another great matchup. A great matchup at 125 pounds. Hopefully the UFC gets this done. I have a feeling they will. That is it for us for now. More Fight News Now Extra is still coming your way.